Top reasons why you should never buy a Kane Corso. Reason number one, they are unbelievably strong. And I don't just mean physically strong, like they can drag you down the street, which they can, but they're also uh, very high pain tolerance. So trying to control them or issue discipline should you need to, forget about it. They feel no pain. And God forbid they were to get into a fight with your neighbor's dog, they're not gonna feel any pain and it'd be very hard to break that fight up. Reason number two, unbelievably territorial. You might think that's great that they're gonna keep the bad guys away, but 99% of people come into your house mean you no harm. So that means when your uncle comes over for the holidays or the mailman or your neighbor comes knocking at the door, you're probably gonna have to put the dog up because he's gonna be trying to kill them for coming in the front door. Number three, drool. The drool is out of control. It's not all the time, but when they eat, when they drink, when they're excited, they can go like this and shake their head and we're talking that goobs get in your face, get in your drink, get on your shirt, get on your wall. They get everywhere. So the drool is a serious factor that you have to consider. Number four, even though they're easy to train, the problem is that they're a pretty dominant and very confident dog. So if you are not a strong leader, this dog will walk all over you and your family. Because they're so loyal to their family, when you wanna go out of town on that family vacation, and you can't bring the dog with you, now you gotta really think about who can handle such a beast while you're out of town for three, four days.